just speak. Try number three. <laughs> We're tasting beer again because this is something we try to do on a regular basis. We find something uh, kind of exotic that's supposed to be good and we taste it. Today we have Brahma beer from Brazil. How did you get to know this beer? Um, when I was 15 YouTube was quite new and the only thing you could watch on YouTube were anime, poorly dubbed anime from Japan and international commercials. And one of the commercials had a turtle and I like turtles. I like turtles! And it was a Brahma commercial, and the turtle was dying on the road, and a truck full of beer came by. The trucker got out of the truck to help the turtle, but when he was at the point where the turtle was lying on the road, um, it was gone. And then you see the truck, and the turtle's in the truck, closes the door, says, Arriba! and drives away with the beer into the sunset. And I thought, Smart turtle. I thought that's probably a fake brand, but today we found it. Actually, at our local supermarket. So we thought, let's buy it, let's drink it, let's, let's rate taste it. it, let's try. So let's drink. Let's taste it. Cheers. Score. Doesn't have a really strong taste, I think. I didn't want to say it. It's kind of watery. Yeah. But it's not bad, I believe, on a hot day. Mm -hmm. That's actually quite nice to have a beer that is not so um, strongly flavored. And a little bit more um, refreshing. I think it's if it's really cold, it's not yeah. super cold right now. And it's a hot day. That's probably, let's say you're in Brazil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what else is there to know? Let's see. About the beer. About the... Let's try it with a strong German accent. I think my accent is way too strong. Way too strong? Way too strong. You should Google this more. I should Google Brahma Let's beer. See. In 1914, uh, National Malz beer. Malz beer. It's funny. It's, it's a German word actually there. It says Malz beer the way we say Malz beer. One of the few German words in the English language. Really? Along with uh, kindergarten and pizza. Oh, so it's really called Malz beer. In English, I, I thought think it's so. just about so uh, many nice words. Schadenfreude, they so. also have Schadenfreude. Weltschmerz. Weltschmerz. But uh, I think you, uh, use, you don't use that quite that often. No. Also, Fernweh. Really? It's an no, uh, exclusively German word. There's no English word for Fernweh. Hmm. And that describes the German soul quite well, I believe. Fernweh, Weltschmerz, Schadenfreude. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Autobahn. Malzbier. <laughs>